everybody, Martin the Flicker Feathers again today. I'm tying another fly from Lefty Craze Saltwater Fly Patterns. This is the brown and white glass minnow. Now, it's a very simple fly, but it's actually very, very effective. Tie them small like this, you can tie them bigger, and it works for basically anything that eats a bait fish. Um, this is a really good offshore fly. Uh, I like it for uh, mahi and skipjack and, and even, you know, yellowtail kingfish and all that. I'll eat it. We got a lot of bay anchovies, quite small at certain times of year, and this is an excellent imitation for them. Um, but as I say, you can tie them different sizes. As always, I'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody that wants to support the channel. Get access to the online tying classes and enter the giveaways for the flies tied in the channel. Alternatively like the video, share the video, watch it all the way to the end and leave a comment below. That all helps the channel to grow. Right, so I've got my hook, my vice, this is a size 2, got my Katsu S10S uh, 4H, it's a stout standard shank hook. Can I get none for short, but use whatever you like really right you can suit yourself i've run on some red thread you can use white and then change the color if you wish but um i'm just going to use the red all the way through first thing i'm going to do is tie on some a length of two, i'm just keeping it on the spool some 20 pound monofilament and i'm going to just put that back in so that it's well back on my head length, right? My head length's there, and I've left myself another couple of mils. So on this hook, I've got five mil clear behind the eye before that. Um, monofilament starts. Just get that on. So just sort of hang that at the back of my vise. What finish that? There. Just to sort of lock that, and I'm going to put a wee bit of head cement. I mean, you don't need you don't need to be that fussy, but I, I kind of like to belt and braces it, and it'll probably still roll a wee bit. You can you can take another couple. Of, if you're unsure or you feel like you you're a bit concerned about how stable it is, you can take another few. Passes a thread. Right, it's entirely up to you. I'm going to take. I've got some. This is just saltwater flashaboo holographic silver. Traditionally, we would have used. Um, oops. Just flat silver, but the holographic's nice. Catch that in. And I'm going to go back. All the way back and then come up again so I've got two layers of tinsel so there'll be no gaps which that's why you don't need to worry about using that white thread um, you know all well, that red's well covered up even if you make a mistake on one pass it'd be nearly impossible to miss it twice so I'm not going to wrap this with a the monofilament, which you don't really see people doing that much anymore but um, it is actually quite a, a good durable way of protecting a fly's body um, if you feel that this is troublesome or too difficult you can use lighter I'm using 20 but you can definitely get down to 15 now if you've got any wee gaps opening up just use your thumbnail or your fingernails just to shunt it back and just as you as you wind it keep it under a good bit of tension and just let it let each turn push the one the subsequent one ahead now I'm going to catch it oops with my face here. I'm going to catch it on the underside 
uh, to kind of keep it out of the way of the wing. So I've got three good strong wraps and I've got to keep my thread tight. I can let go, you know, I can let go of the, the spool after three. Put another few on. Come in, trim that away. Just make sure and flatten that with my thread. And if your thread frays on the end of the monofilament, don't worry about it too much. Put it tie back towards the mono. It's well locked in. Um, and I, I, that was actually hard mono I used, right? So I've got this body. It's a bit too shiny actually, you can't really see it in the camera, but you get a nice bit of depth. The, the monofilament almost magnifies the the uh, silver body. Now, just to make sure nothing slips, I just like to cement all that as well. Now, once that's went in between, I'll just wipe away any excess. And that also contains that thread a wee bit where it had frayed. So the wing I'm using is I'm using calf tail. Calf tail's lovely for this, nice and mobile. You can use bucktail if you're going bigger. Arctic fox is good. The actual hair I would say is a material, right? It, 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 suit it to the size of the fly, really. If you've got a wee, if you've got a bucktail with short hairs on it. That's this is a good use for it, you know. When you're getting up to a slightly bigger fly than this, you know, an inch and a half if you've got a wee tail with a short, short hair, it's very good. Now, length of this, no more than a shank length, length off the back. Right now, that's sticking right up. Um, I'm just going to, before I sort of tighten I'm just sort of press it. I don't want to, I'm not trying to wrap the shank, I'm just, I still want a wing. Although, if you want to wrap the shank, you can, to be honest. Um, tighten it around, sort of bucktail deceivery, just taking any of your short hairs away. But something like that, right, so I've got, basically, there's the shank length and then another shank length. Any more than that and it will tangle up. Right, so that's your, that's your sort of, think about that as your hard limit. Spin my thread, get that nice and locked in. I mean, up to yourself, you can, you can work it as much as you like, but that's no bad for me. And although, I know it kind of looks like it's sticking up, but when it's in the water, the pressure of the water, you know, it, when, you, when you strip it, this is moving and breathing. Uh, it looks good and it'll take the shape and the more you fish it as well it'll start, this will start to kind of take that wee drop form now at the top of this, this is the brown version so I'm going to wee bit of uh, red fox squirrel say a third of the amount of uh, calf tail get this and I'm going to tie this in, I want it just about the same length I don't mind it being slightly shorter, but I don't want it longer. Just tie that on the top. You can flatten it a wee bit if you like. Lift it up. Trim it out. Come to the front, and then I'll work my thread back into the cut ends. We'll see how my head is. I don't mind a big head. Uh, it used to be we would build it up, then paint it, but I'm going to just use stick on eyes on this one. But um, the the you need enough space on the head to put your eyes on. So a single strand of the same that salt water flashaboo down the side. 
it's got to be like a sort of lateral line I suppose and what we'll do just twist my thread up two or three wraps and then rather than folding it around just fold the end back trim it off I'll do the same on your side a couple of turns let's just see how it's sitting up onto the wing same length fold it back and then just tidy up this head again build it up Flash of booze is not behaving itself, but that's fine, it's not a problem. Single whip finish because I'm going to just stick the eyes on and give this a, a dose of resin. So, we'll just moisten this to sort of control the flash of boo. You can see it's trying to flap away. Recrease on the eye. These are only 3 mil or something, these eyes are quite small. Again, obviously you size them to the fly. I don't need any glue because I'm going to put them on my resin. Don't need a huge amount, just just enough to coat it. We'll let that sort of level out. I'm just turning it. You can use your needle as well if you like. See if you if you need to. Um, you know, I actually prefer just to let it sort of level itself if possible. It's not always possible, but. Um, if it is, that's what I like to do. And that's it's coming no bad, but I'm just going to... That looks quite good to me. Just get a return. And then zap it. And that's it basically. Um, I don't know why my flash of boost curling like that, but I'm not too worried. But that's it, glass minnow. When they're only wee tiny baits, this is a great pattern to have in your box. So there you go, hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it, if you did, remember to give me a thumbs up below, and I'll see you for another one. Take lines guys, bye.